Good morning folks, I am the Bitter Clinger, and today I'll be responding to a number of comments in one of my videos. They're all variations of the same disagreement, so I'll address them all with one response. This is in regards to a recurring theme in the comments section of my EverQuest Next rant video. Uh, in case you haven't seen the video, it's a response to the cancellation of EverQuest Next. Now, that news was no surprise to me, it only confirmed what I already knew in my heart was the state of the project. But when I actually read the news, including the fatuous reason given by Daybreak that they cancelled EverQuest Next because it wasn't fun, well, I lost my marbles and threw together a rant video where I unloaded on Daybreak Games. The most common disagreement with this video is that my anger is misplaced. I shouldn't blame Daybreak Games for any of this, but rather their parent company, Columbus Nova. If you're not aware of the history behind this, Columbus Nova is a venture capital investment company. They acquired Sony Online Entertainment from Sony in January 2015 and changed the name to Daybreak Game Company. So, there have been a number of comments suggesting the professionals at Daybreak Games were being pushed through this. They had no control over the situation surrounding the cancellation of EverQuest Next. The premise goes something like this. The greedy robber barons at Columbus Nova purchased SOE with the intention of cutting operating expenses to bare bones and squeezing what was left for every dollar they could get out of it. After all, that's what capital investment companies do, right? Well, I suppose it could have gone down like that, but here are some reasons that make me a little dubious of that explanation. First, let's take Columbus Nova out of the equation and focus on the things that SOE did long before they were sold off by Sony. It was SOE that showed off EverQuest Next Combat at SOE Live in 2013 and called it gameplay footage. It was SOE that told Forbes Magazine in October 2013 that Landmark would contain EverQuest Next style combat. It was SOE who used the EverQuest Next label to jack up the price of early access for Landmark. Even a big studio like SOE can't command $60 and $100 price points for an unknown IP. You know how much they charge for early access to H1Z1? 20 bucks. And that's about the going rate for early access to unknown and unproven game titles, between $20 and $30. They slapped the EverQuest Next prefix onto the landmark title so they could ask for the big franchise dollars. Now, I have no idea what they did with the money from EQN landmark sales, but they didn't use it to bring EverQuest Next style combat to landmark. At least, not if we're to believe what we saw at SOE Live in 2013 was indeed gameplay footage. Remember, this is all Sony Online Entertainment. All this went down long before the greedy, cigar-smoking, $100 bill-burning robber barons from Columbus Nova came along. So, let's talk about Columbus Nova. Let's assume that all Columbus Nova cares about is making money, which could be true. Why would they kill off EverQuest next? That would be like buying Ford Motor Company and killing off the F-150 pickup. That's your most popular and profitable line of products. The only reason I can see that they would kill off EverQuest next is because they sat down with the team from SOE and found out there was next to nothing there. For all the talk of systems building that was supposedly occurring in Landmark, it's an incredibly dead and empty world. It's dead and empty because the minimal foundational assets required for even a remotely interesting world have yet to be created. And my guess is that's about the time the executives at Columbus Nova soiled themselves. They realized they'd purchased a big box of nothing. So yeah, at this point I'm assuming Columbus Nova cut their losses and decided to lay off everyone associated with the EverQuest Next project. Now, my final reason for believing SOE slash Daybreak screwed this up and not their parent company is the quote from my friend at the end of my rant video. Now I realize this isn't going to be as important to you as it is to me, but he's been a creative director and producer in the video game industry for as long as I've known him, and that's coming up on 20 years. But when he told me, these guys squandered millions, I don't think he just pulled that word squandered out of his hat. I believe he intended to communicate the literal definition of the word squandered, which is to waste something, especially time or money, in a reckless and foolish manner. Now, it's not unreasonable to see the headline EverQuest Next cancelled and have the first thought that pops in your head be Columbus Nova killed my video game. However, when you do some investigation and put together a timeline of everything that was said and everything that was left undone, 
There's a lot of evidence to suggest my friend was right. And believe me, I take no joy in saying that. So that's where I'm going to leave it for today, folks. Uh, most of the dissenting opinions on this subject were not unreasonable, and I'm sure I won't change very many minds. But I hope I've provided a little more explanation on why I hold my particular opinions on the subject. Uh, speaking of dissenting opinions, I've got another video that has recently generated more than a few, so uh, you'll probably see another response video like this one specifically for comments surrounding my RPG video. There is one last thing I want to say before I let you go. This is experimental content. Uh, I hope you find it interesting and I hope you find it easy to listen to. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, that'll tell me that these response videos are something worth doing. If you're not at all interested in this type of content, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Folks, YouTube is not like Reddit. Downvotes are just as good as upvotes on YouTube. So feel free to use those thumbs for feedback. And until next time, this is Bitter Clinger, signing out.